Hello guys, welcome to my channel Study Box. My name is Navind uh, with, with six years of working experience in corporate and here to help you with all your Excel queries. In this course, I'll, I'll, take you through, uh, I'll take you through basics to intermediate to advanced level of Excel learnings. Uh, but before, uh, before we both dive into this course, uh, let me first show my gratitude to my teachers uh, with a shloka. Uh, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Deva Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Parama Brahma Tasmaya Shri Guru Venamaha. With this, uh, uh, with this, I would I would like to thanks to all my teacher uh, who have till now taught me and still teaching me a lot on a, on a day to day basis. So guys, uh, with this thought, let's let's dive into the course and uh, start learning. Okay, so I'll I'll just share my screen and we'll we'll share something with you. Okay. Cool. So, uh, guys, I hope you all can see my screen. This is this is Microsoft Excel full course by Nabil Kumar, and uh, and I'm I'm sure you will you will just uh, love it and will uh, will learn a lot from here. Okay. So, uh, why this course, guys? Uh, so, uh, listen, um, this is this is the 21st century, and Microsoft Excel in the 21st century is no more an option now. It has become the necessity, and considering the importance of Excel and its day-to-day -day use, I have thought of creating this channel, which will help students from schools and colleges, corporates, both freshers and experienced teachers, parents, and people from various fields. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, let's start the course. Uh, guys, uh, before we learn, um, before we learn the, uh, the, the concept of Excel, let's, uh, let's first uh, know about the Microsoft Excel fundamentals. So uh, in, the, in the first lecture, what we'll be learning, how to launch Excel, like how do we open Excel, uh, what, what are the various uh, various user interface of Excel, like say, for example, you can see in the screenshot, this is a quick access toolbar, this is a title bar, uh, this, is, uh, this is a ribbon tab, these are the ribbons, this is formula bar, this is, this is name box, this is active cell, work tabs, status bar, uh, everything I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you live uh, by sharing and by sharing the Excel sheet as Excel sheet as well. Uh, guys, you already know uh, that Microsoft Excel is a combination of columns and rows. So uh, you have sixteen thousand three hundred and eighty four numbers of, uh, of of columns in Excel sheet from uh, from column A to column X F D. Uh, th this shall be shown in the in the, in the Excel file as well. How many rows do you have then? You have 10,48,576 rows in the in the Microsoft Excel. Uh, we will then go and learn how to save an Excel document, open an existing document. Uh, um, we'll learn what is the difference between save and save as. Then, then um, obviously the common Excel shortcuts. So, guys, uh, let's let's start uh, launching the Excel. Okay, how do how do you launch Excel? Like, how do you open the Excel? So whenever you go into your laptop, you'll see a search search option over here. Just type in Excel. Okay, double click on this. You will have you'll have your Excel open, right? Uh, th this will this will look like this. Um, you you just you just click uh, yeah. Uh, just just double click on this, and here and here is the Excel open. Now uh, you, you remember I just uh, on on the PowerPoint slideshow I, I show you a screenshot, right? So this is a quick access toolbar. This is this is a title bar. This is my name. This is minimize, maximize. This is close button. This is formula bar. This is name bar. This is status bar. Okay. Now now let's let's uh, learn a bit about all this. So what quick access toolbar is? As the name suggests, uh, you can access it pretty quick. Like just just by a click, you can access it. Like say for example, this is this is this is a quick access toolbar for opening a new document. So whenever you click on this, you 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 just start you open a new document. So hey, you have it. You have a two documents open. See, we have a two documents open. This is book two, and that was book one. Again, if you want to add a new document, just click on that. See, super easy. Okay, so this is this is quick access toolbar. If uh, you do not have the quick access toolbar, how do you do that? You go to file. You click on you click on new. Then, then, then double click on this. It it shortens it shortens the way. Okay, and um, I have a section called um, uh, uh, called uh, like introduction to the to the Excel formulas. This will make more easier. 
uh, you can you can also customize uh, the quick access toolbar. Like say, for example, I'm not satisfied with only with only these many uh, the, uh, these many options. I want to add more options. So how do I do that? So um, I just I just go and click say for example a sort ascending. Okay. So you see um, A to Z, and then uh, I I also want sort descending. Like just I'll just show you an example. Like say for example, after one, two, three, uh, five, seven, nine. Okay, I just uh, check all those. If I click on this, see, it, it is in the ascending order, like from lowest to uh, largest. If I click on this, see, this is super easy. So this is the use of uh, use of use of uh, quick access toolbar. Okay, uh, now this is the title bar. I, I'll let you know when I save this file how how the name of the file is changed. This is me, Navin Kumar Singh. This is minimize. Uh, you can minimize the the Excel file. This is maximize. This is close button. Okay. This is formula bar. This is very important. You can you can just uh, do this. You can do this. Okay. So this is a formula bar. This is name bar. Uh, wherever you wherever you go, the address is here. Like you are into you are into K eight at the moment. See K eight. Now if I if I just type say for example U twenty five, where does it go? It goes into the U25. And um, whenever you um, like uh, click on K2, you just go into K2. So, this is a speed post. So, this is a speed post. So, this is very important to know. Now, uh, the major section, uh, all, all of them, this is, this is a ribbon. इस इस रिबन के अंदर आपको बहुत सारे कमांड कंट्रोल्स मिलेंगे जैसे कि क्लिपबोर्ड उसके बाद आपको फॉन्ट का सेक्शन है जहां जहां से आप फॉन्ट को चेंज कर सकते हो फॉन्ट जो भी हम लिखते हैं उसे हम फॉन्ट कहते हैं उसे आप चेंज कर सकते हो अलाइनमेंट लाइक आपने जो फॉन्ट लिखा है वो आप उसको मिडिल में चाहते हो या फिर लेफ्ट अलाइनमेंट या फिर राइट अलाइनमेंट या फिर टॉप बॉटम ये सारे अलाइनमेंट्स आप चेंज कर सकते हो इन सब के बारे में हम दूसरे लेक्चर में पढ़ेंगे but अभी अभी फिलहाल सिर्फ user interface के बारे में देखते हैं। ये एक number section है जहाँ पे आप numbers numbers के formatting change कर सकते हो। These are styles, conditional formatting, format as tables. So these are all called command control. This as a whole is called ribbon. This is a formula bar. This is a name bar. These are worksheets. This whole uh, this whole Excel file is called a workbook, and uh, in, in, in a particular workbook, we have different worksheets. You can rename it by double clicking. Like say, for example, I have I have I have typed there study box. And, and if you want to add more, you, you just type in here, say for example, Nabind. If you if you type here, if you click here, double click Excel. This is this is how this is how you can play, uh, create different worksheets. Okay, uh, now if, if you just see here, you have the zoom, the zoom in ruler. Uh, see, it's, 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 so this is the zoom in ruler. You can do this as well. You have preview panes, uh, like this is a normal. When you click on this, uh, when you click on this, you, you get this option, right? Uh, then, then you have this. You just, you just click on uh, normal at the moment, okay? I'll, I'll click on 100 percent yeah now this is done so uh, let's let's revise this for a moment this is a quick access toolbar this is uh, this is a title bar this is this is the name of the user who is logged in this is minimize maximize close button this whole is a ribbon uh, these are the command controls this is a name bar formula bar um, then these are the worksheets uh, the, uh, the, this is a preview uh, how do you view the Excel file? Normal page layout, page break preview. This is a zoom in ruler. Okay. Uh, now let's let's learn about the status bar a bit. Now I'll type in some numbers: 25, 85, 74. Now when I click on this, you see over here. I'll just zoom in a bit. See, these are the numbers: 25, 85, and 74. You see the average is seen here. This is this is called the status bar. Count is three. Sum is one eighty four. So, so this is this is about about the Excel interface. The one one of the most most interesting points I told you right. Uh, the the number of columns and rows that you have. So if you if you just go at the end, how do I go to the end? Control and the right arrow. Okay, you see from A to X F D. 
the total number of columns, the total number of columns, you can see over here, I've just mentioned it, 16,384. So 16,384 numbers of columns are there, right? If you, if you come here and see the rows, you have 10,48,576. You have this huge number of rows and, and columns to work on this file, okay? Now, now when, when the columns and rows, uh, rows uh, intersect, what, the, what do they make? They make a cell. So the number of the, the cell number is C2 over here, F4 over here. So th this is called, uh, this, this, these, are the, uh, these are the cells. Okay, now now you have you have the basic idea of how Excel looks like. And now now let's let's go and uh, learn the difference uh, uh, learn the difference between save and save as. I have I have this book uh, book named as book four, right? So what I'll do I'll go to file I'll I'll click on save. Okay, I'll click on save, and uh, where where do I need to where where do I need to uh, save this file? For for now I'm just clicking on here study box. Um, what, what, let's uh, do the first. I'll, I'll check first lecture. This is named the fundamental fundamentals, and um, and I just I simply click on save. So hey, see the name is changed. So uh, so this is how we save. Now what does save as do? Uh, so uh, when you click on save as, right, you, you see the same option. You click on study box. Uh, you click on uh, you click on the um, you click on the um, the study box option. Now you have this one, right? Save as type. In what format you want to uh, you want to save this file? So you have a lot of formats like Excel workbook, Excel macro enabled workbook. This will this will come under the advanced Excel course. I'll I'll do that as well. And then you have then you have CSV format, CSV comma delimited. I'll I'll, I'll let you know about all this. So whenever you are working in an excel file there will come a time where you want to uh, save a file say for example as an as an as a csv document as a as a normal excel file as an xml data as a macro enabled workbook so you can do with this right uh, so this is this is how you save um, and and uh, this is this is the difference between save and save as. now um, there will be cases where you need to open an existing existing file um, how do I do that? How do I do that? So um, the shortcut for that is Control O. To open an existing document, the shortcut is Control O. Please note this. But uh, but let's not use the shortcuts for now. Let's uh, go the long cut way. How do I do that? I, I again I click on File. I click on Open. Okay. I have I have these files into my system. Like say for example, I just want to open Excel shortcut study box. I click on this. Hooray! See uh, now. Now you can see. Now you can see the Excel shortcut. Uh, short uh, Excel Excel shortcut document. So um, we have we have opened um, an existing document over here. Now now you can see uh, the Excel shortcuts. So um, the Excel open an existing document. Control O, uh, and then open a new sheet. Control N, save. Control S. If you want to click on save as, press F12. Close Excel document. Control W. So uh, from where did I prepare this document? Uh, uh, so guys, Excel will teach you Excel. Oh, so, so why am I here? I'm just here to, to tell you what Excel has taught me. Like say, for example, when you click over here, cut, you can see, you can see a dialog box is opening up and you can see control X is the shortcut for this. So I have mentioned control X, that's it. So if you come here, Control C is a copy. See, Format Painter, we have a shortcut for this as well. I'll let you know how, how, how do I learn that. Now, when I click on this, see, if you, if you click, um, uh, now when, when I, uh, uh, does this happen? No, this, this is not coming. So for, for uh, saving, you'll have to press Control S. I have pressed Control S, this has got saved. Say, for example, if I press F12, what, what, where, where does it take me to? See, save it. Uh, I won't do that right now. If you want to uh, close an Excel document, you can press Control W, or you can just go and um, cross it over here. Now, when when I have told Excel has taught me Excel, what do I do that? What do I mean by that? So uh, this means the use of Alt command. 
guys this is the strongest key into your keyboard i'm telling you for the excel shortcuts how uh, why am i saying this see if i press alt you can just see a number a alphabet is there right for a file you click on you click on f for going to home tab you click on h for going on insert tab you click on n for going to page layout you click on p now let's let's learn something let's let's learn the use of this now what i'll do i have just i have just changed something right now okay now add a border select any of your choice how do i do that so um, for doing anything in excel you first you'll have to first select that how do i do that control shift right arrow and then down arrow this has selected my document now for the all border section what do i do alt now if you can see the border option is here right so you click on h and then you have an option for borders b now i want all border what do i click for all borders it is a for no borders it is n for right border it is r i need all borders so i'll click on a here we go so alt h b a is the all border now i want to remove this border what what do i do alt press alt my hands are my hands are here then h my hands are here b my hands are here and then n the borders are gone so with alt key you can learn numerous excel shortcuts so so task for you prepare an excel excel shortcut document um, with with uh, with alt commands learn those things and uh, just just jot it down um, into into your excel file learn it as much as you can now um, now just certain things how do you cut see control x control v these are cut paste again control x control v so so play with play with your keyboard play with play with the excel shortcuts and uh, and let me know and let me know if you have any issues in the in the comment box and and uh, um, just just before uh, before ending this ending this lecture let's let's revise this a bit so what we have learned quick access toolbar the title bar this will only uh, like before saving it it will come as book 1 book 2 book 3 book 4 uh, after you save the name will appear here this is the name of the user who has logged in minimize maximize close button these are the ribbons command controls various command controls okay uh, this is these are the worksheets how many how many columns do you have question for you how many rows do you have question for you okay this is a status bar this is zoom ruler okay this is a formula bar this is a speed post wala address aapko kahin bhi lekar jayega yahan pe type karo aap के फिफ्टी फाइव आपको के फिफ्टी फाइव पे लेकर ओ सॉरी के के फिफ्टी फाइव आपको के फिफ्टी फाइव पर लेकर गया ठीक है तो आ, ये सारी चीजें आप देखें पढ़ें और नेक्स्ट लेक्चर पे आते हैं वेर वेर विल लर्न वेर विल लर्न समथिंग मोर अबाउट अबाउट द कमांड कंट्रोल द टैब्स सो गाइज थैंक यू सो मच एंड वॉट वॉट आर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर इज गोइंग टू बी अल i'll just share it right now why did i do that okay so my next lecture is going to be about um, the introduction to the home tab cut copy paste alignment number style cells editing so to learn this tune into the channel do not forget to do not do not forget to subscribe because you'll get all the notifications from there only thank you thank you so much namaste